There we go. Okay, my hotkey was not working. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I plan to do this a little more frequently, but last time it got very, very hot in here. It got up to like 84 degrees Fahrenheit um, just because it was the middle of the day. And it's I live in hell, apparently, because even though it's December, I can still get up to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but today is much, much cooler. It's only like 71 right now. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But uh, yeah, it was very hot. Got my heart rate kind of high. So was not great. But um, we're going to do this. Once again, go through some auditions. Uh, I went through and I vetted a ton of them that were there because I was just so far behind last time I did this. So we'll only have about one day's worth to vet. And then quite a few that I've set up that I'm going to audition for. Um but yeah, let's get into the warm-ups, which of course, one of the first warm-ups you can do is just, you know, talking gently. Don't be shouting or raising your voice too much. Um, and then, of course, we got to warm up our face and neck, like I said. So just squish around, massage, wake up all the different parts of your upper vocal tract. Oh, I've heard you shouldn't crack your neck. I've heard you should crack your neck. So I don't even know. I just relieve some of the pressure. Ugh. Um, yeah, my mic is working. I always end up with a lot of tension because I'm pretty tall. I'm six two. Um, so a lot of stuff is designed for people of a more average height, which means I'm slouched down. When I'm doing a lot of stuff, like all the counters in my house are designed for an average height person. So that means I got to crunch down and that yeah hurts my neck and back over time. So it's good to just stretch. I do uh, a full stretch every day. But it's good to stretch a bit more before you get into your voice acting. Or singing or whatever you're going to do with your voice. I know what you're thinking. Your forehead, your forehead can't have anything to do with your voice, but uh, actually, your sinuses, which is one of your main resonance chambers, goes through like your entire skull. It goes all the way around, out to your ears, up in here, all through there. All those spaces are good for making various different sounds. So it's important to get it all woken up, limbered up. <laughs> okay, it's a good start. Get some water. You want to be hydrated? That was the other thing is I had like a really strong breakfast tea last time and not a lot of water or food. So that caffeine got me. All right. Face is all warmed up. So now we're just going to do the breathing exercise, which again is breathe in for four, hold for seven, breathe out for eight. And when you're breathing out, do it very small, like you're breathing through a straw. So you're not letting out all of your air out at once. All right. So here we go.
up and actually breathe out on that one. So you guys, you guys probably saw me mess up there and count to five. I lost, uh, lost the count. Let's do one more just to be solid. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. That's fine. It's like the warm up is just for you. So if you mess up, you're only messing up for yourself. You don't really have to worry about being that crazy. Uh, don't get bumped out. You know, just do another set. Do it correct. The only uh, the only person who's holding you accountable is yourself, which is not easy, but it's uh it's useful. All right, so now we're gonna get into the actual scales and things. So I'm gonna make sure that, yeah, I have computer unmuted. It's also on my headphones. All right, and here we go again. Don't worry about necessarily being on key, just focus on moving up and down and keeping your breath nice and supported. We are starting with the hum. Now, lip roll arpeggio. Brrrr. <laughs> 
battery on my light died. Oh well. All right. Uh, okay, that won't autoplay good. Yeah, light went out. Whoops. Oh, well, that happens. I'm going to take off my headphones so I can hear myself a little better. Because those headphones are closed back, so it's really hard to hear yourself when you're wearing them. All right, a little water, and then we're going to do the hmm kind of voice thing. It really clears up your sinuses, which is great for me. All right. Okay, that's about the highest I can go. <laughs> All right, then an elevator hum. So from the bottom to the top of your range. That's the top for me. And then from the top to the bottom, or let's do three at the bottom to the top and then go three the other. So, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I did not get enough of a breath. So let's start from the top. All right. All right, and now the other way. Thank <laughs> you. 
that pretty much does it. I did the falsetto thing before, but uh, I read up on it and I did it. I, I'm reworking that one, so I'm not going to probably do it as much, but um, uh, you can hear that little crinkle. Don't want to clear my voice quite yet because it can be a little damaging, but if you must, you can go, um, um, don't just cough because that can be pretty damaging, but try and vocalize it. <coughs> there we go. Cleared out a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been sick lately and I get acid reflux, which can also really make it difficult to uh, make the sounds you want to. So I'm working through it, but, uh, yeah. We're going to move over to the computer now, and we're going to start looking through the auditions before we record. So that gives our voice a chance to kind of settle in after the warm-ups. Um, and I'm still going to be talking a bit here and there. So I will uh, be right back. See you over right over there. Just a second. Oh my god, I forgot to unmute my mic. I feel a fool. All right, so yeah. Wiped that off. Uh, Jacob's Vocal Academy is where I get my warm-ups. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through Casting Call Club now. I'm going to refresh to make sure these are all current. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see see what looks worth auditioning for. So going to go all the way to the bottom. Oh, not a lot of new ones. Okay. That's fine. Uh, female teen. Already know I'm out on that one. Uh, only the one. Male adult. The birthday killer. Coming to a theater near you. The birthday killer. Um, okay. Yes. And... We'll open that one up over there. 163 days, not a real audition. Um, Super Mario, but nobody's a Mario character. So, uh, huh, could be interesting. We'll uh, look into that a little more when we're over there. Female, all those are female teens. But there's five other ones that are not there, so. Uh, what happened? MLP, Friendship is Magic, Grim Duck, Gore. Uh, looks like it's all Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Applejack, so. 
I can do a Texas accent a little bit, but I cannot do an Applejack so much, so that's not going to be helpful for me. All right, um, yeah, that looks like it, huh? Casting call is a little light today, but that's just fine. I already have quite a few set up here, so should be good. Uh, hmm, no description, huh? Not a great start, but what do these look like? Yeah, didn't even proofread their lines very well. I haven't held that name in 10 years. We have a escaped patient. Uh, proofread your lines at least, guys. Come on. Show that you care enough that I should care, you know? That's that's my main thing. I just want to make sure that you care. Because if you care, then I'll I'll give it a shot. But if you can't even care enough to proofread your own stuff, then it's like, well, what? Wh how are you going to expect me to get excited about your stuff? Uh huh. Okay. So Metal Mario is a different character here, and he's the villain. Mario switches places with him. It's an audio series. Hmm, I'm going back and forth because these lines are pretty solid. So this might not actually be, you know, that unreasonable. I have an idea behind it. Let's, I'm going to check real quick. Has this guy done any other projects? Because if this is his first project, no, he's done a few. I can't see any of them. I mean, honestly, yeah, sure. You know, never hurts to uh, take some time. Story of the unknown, needs some voice actors, so that's not very descriptive, but let's see what they got. Yeah, no, this, this script is a dog's dinner right here. Nope, you're not taking it serious, so I'm not going to give you my time. That's it. Like, just show that you're taking it serious, you know? Even if it's a silly thing, like, you should be taking my time seriously because the time's valuable. It's what I'm giving these people by uh, auditioning since they're not, you know, they're not paying. So it's basically like... They got to show me that it's going to be a fun time, at least. Give me something worth my while. All right. Well, that's actually all set up already. So let's, uh, yeah, let's slip, open up Adobe Audition. While that's opening up, refresh. Anything new? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's actually, let's go through the ones that I had picked out previously off stream. Make sure they haven't like cast already because some of them were like right on the deadline. So this one, the deadline's tomorrow. Uh, not a lot in the way of actual dialogue or anything, but I like the artwork enough that I think I'm going to give it a shot. But let's see. Yeah, see, no no descriptions, just a picture, no lines, so it's like full improv. But cute characters. So let's uh let's see how this works out. This hair, this hair is out of control cuz like you know, they're all pretty big. But this one specifically, like this that's a lot of a lot of volume. What condition are you use? 
could use some of that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I like the art, but like, man, they're really giving me nothing to work with. Like, if you're if you're expecting me to improvise the lines, you got to give me like a description or something. Like, I I I can't just improvise off of just a picture necessarily. Well, I guess I maybe I should. Maybe I should try. Let's hear what everybody else has been doing. If we keep going at this rate. There is a 98.6% chance we don't fail. That's better than it's ever been. Okay. Did you really just say, hear me out, jorts? Is that what somebody else said? I don't know. Uh, okay. But wouldn't it be exciting? But wouldn't it be exciting? But wouldn't it be exciting? Dude, you need to stop worrying. But wouldn't it be exciting? But wouldn't it be exciting? That's almost like identical. <laughs> if you're gonna do two takes, make sure that there's something different about them. Oh, there goes my Bluetooth keyboard. I think the battery died. I'll have to remember that before the next stream. Ah. What do we got here? Oh, are you guys ready? Another adventure awaits us. Everybody hop on. Come on, let's hurry up. There's like... <laughs> are you guys ready? Another adventure awaits us. Another adventure awaits us. He sounds like tired. And I... Not to be disparaging or anything, like if that's the read he gets on this character, awesome, but it's like... Are they adventurous or are they like tired? Are they both? Hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's not... I don't know. I've, we're not here to critique other people's auditions. I just want to get an idea for what people are thinking about this character. However, if there's nothing you can do about it, and you want to try, you do what you can. And you do what you can hard. You gotta be shitting me! Don't screw with me! All you bastards who set this shit up are dead! Hello, my Mickey Mouse friends, or I should say my Miskery Mouseketeers, for we are about Oh, this is just his demo. I was like, is that the voice you think this character would have? No, it's, he just uploaded his demo, uh, which is probably acceptable, but um, yeah, this whole project's a little funky. I don't know. Uh, You know what? I'm going to challenge myself to improvise and... We're going to do something with these characters, so we'll we'll stick with that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this one got cast already. Let's hear what... It... No, not anybody in here, I guess. So that's out. Missed my chance. Uh, this is Hollow Knight. I like Hollow Knight. I haven't played a ton of it because it's very hard, but my roommate is crazy into it, so I've seen a lot. Uh, I heard the Bob Tanada. That's what she says every time you walk in. Ah, I always remember that specifically. Um, but yeah, there's some fun characters in here. Gonna definitely give a couple of them a shot. Uh, analog horror, right? And this guy, I mean, I'm just gonna give him an Andrew Ryan sort of voice. That's kind of old crinkly kind of I'm Andrew Ryan and my place ain't got no business looking like this just that kind of thing I don't know as soon as I see him I'm like that's that's how I feel the man would sound um this right this is just like a remake ah I was gonna do I was gonna do for Bowsette because it's like it says female but then it's like a oh, low voice evil and expressive so I was going to give her like this kind of a thing, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure you know who I am. But whatever. That's fine. Who got it? I'm not sure you know who I am. But I'm about to rule the world. Yeah, that works. 
It's a good choice. Uh, ooh, no auditions, eh? Who do we get? Eh? Bowsette in the Mario movie? Just imagine the... I do like that they're like, don't sound like Chris Pratt, sound like the actual Mario. And I'm like, yeah, I know what you mean. Emotional and physical damage. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll probably be a fun series, but I missed my shot. Oh, well. That's what I'm saying, right? It's like, it is the day of the deadline, but they already cast early on in the day. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. It's very dreary. Um. Okay, the narrator. We're talking this guy? This is the narrator? Yeah, I'll do that one still. Uh, oh, this is just Daryl from The Walking Dead. Uh, still going back and forth if I want to even do this one. Nah, not really. <coughs> then, yeah, this one is weird, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right, let's see if anything else came in. Nope. All right. Let's set everything up for the actual auditioning. Let's do both. Let's do both of these. I'll save it for last. Uh, pilot scene. Elitex. I'll do these two first ones. Yeah. Okay, files are set up. Yeah, I'll save those for last because they're going to take some, uh, some thinking. Okay. And we're probably going to try... Oh, excuse me. Uh, we're going to try out for Papa Grub. And let's try out for one more. Let's see. Uh, straight up Grub. Oh, that's just making uh, creature noises, eh? What do they sound like? If you just want noises from the game, why don't you just use noises from the game? It's not that hard to just... You have the video right there. Uh, not my jam. Brash background bug. Uh, yeah, let's... Well... Maybe the elder bug. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do the brash background bug. Again, it's one of those ones where you could just ask someone. It's a single line, right? So just ask someone who you cast for something else to do it. I'm sure they have the range. Do you not trust them to have the range? I think you should. 
really. Um, okay. The emissaries files. Right. It's this guy. Um, let's have a watch of this real quick. Years ago, humanity faced annihilation at the hands of untold horrors. Those who survived, a mad few, chose to face the monsters and protect their own. From those brave souls came the first hunters. Their mission has one purpose. To save humankind. Cool. Yeah, the idea here, as you might be able to read, is that it's supposed to be like 60s, 60s black and white animated action dramas. So it's like lower budget, but intentionally so. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, it is paid, which is cool. Uh, yeah. Let's obviously we're gonna try out for Jeer, the main guy. And I, I could maybe do Gregor. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's try out Gregor. And then... Balan Wonderland reanimated. Balan Wonder, or excuse me, Wonder World reanimated. I thought it was Wonderland, isn't it? Kind of a rhyme. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I should turn on. Uh, do not disturb so I don't get any notifications messing up the stream. Uh, narrator Iggy Kid, right? And then Super Mario, Metal Mario's Rise. Uh, Porter. Marvinsky. I think I just got text. Might be important. Nope. Okay. All right, get some water. It's good to swish it around and hydrate your gums. Ah, and that is... Entertainer's Secret Throat Spray. It's basically just like glycerin and aloe and some other stuff. Helps to lubricate your throat and uh, get rid of any creaks and groans, for the most part. You know, don't rely on it too much. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> so let's look through these lines. Okay. And then it's, uh... Yeah, I don't know anything about Garcello. I've never heard of Smoke Em Out Struggle, so... Hopefully this isn't too off the mark with that, but... It's just a chill smoker guy with a sense of justice. It's a chill smoker guy. Yeah. Yeah, a little creaky, a little groany, right? That sort of thing. I think that'll be good. Name's Porter. I was locked up here for drug dealing. It wasn't anything too illegal, just some cigarettes. I guess they really got something against smoking here. Interesting. Wonder why there's still guards then. No wonder the princess gets captured every so often. 
I can tell by the way he presents himself, the way he speaks. If he was truly this ruthless, metal what's-it guy, he likely would have beaten you all without a second thought. And uh, for a second take, let's just go a little deeper. Name's Porter. I was locked up here for drug dealing. Wasn't anything too illegal, just some cigarettes. I guess they really got something against smoking here. Interesting. Wonder why there's still guards, then. No wonder the princess gets captured every so often. I can tell by the way he presents himself, the way he speaks. If he was truly this ruthless metal what's-it guy, he likely would have beaten you all without a second thought. Okay. Kind of hard tracking down the motivation in that, but I think... I think these are two pretty solid uh, takes. So let's, yeah, drop that there. Get rid of that bit there. Name's Porter. Didn't flub anything, thankfully. Uh, oh. The way he's okay. Didn't hear any mouth noise there. Then we're gonna. I can tell by the... Yeah, normalize each line separately. Get them all up to around the same volume. I can tell by the way he presents himself. Then... Hit it with a quick compress. Name's Porter. I was locked up here for drug dealing. Wasn't anything too illegal, just some cigarettes. I guess they really got that's, something against probably a little loud for y'all. Okay, that should do it. Um, whoops, toss that into Casting Call Club. Export an MP3, because Casting Call Club doesn't play nice with a uh, wave. Um, no. And yep, the usual. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I included two different takes on the character. My Discord is Iggy the Kid. Pound 5541. Please let me know if you need anything else. Or would like me to try out for one of the other roles. There we go, copy that. Submit. And drop that into... Submitted. Listen to it real quick. Name's Porter. I was locked up here for drug dealing. Okay. That is good. Now we're gonna do this guy here. We'll do it, uh, let's see. Okay. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna turn my gain down just a touch because I'm gonna be pretty loud with this one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, coming soon, near you. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a whatever this is. You're telling me I get to join the crew? You're telling me I get to join the crew? Oh, yes. Then for a second take, I'll just do it a little more straight. Hello, lady... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Coming soon near you. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a... whatever this is. You're telling me I get to join the crew? Oh, yes! Okay, I did clip there a little bit, but if it's very tiny, sometimes it doesn't distort. And I do have a backup plan for when it does. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. 
Give her that flub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it distorted a tiny bit. So what we do is we select. And we use RX Isotope RX7 D clip. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Not always the best thing, but it works in a pinch. Usually I'll go back and re-record if it's like really clipped, but that was just so barely that it's like, mm, Isotope should be able to handle this. All right, and we'll save, we'll export. And we'll upload. Whoop. Almost dropped my water. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Coming soon, near you. Okay. And now we're going to get into Jir and Gregor. Gregor first. Okay. Don't mind her. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. If he takes along, we'll be heard from a mile away. And what of you, brother? Ah, gonna go from the top. Don't mind her. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. If he tags along, we'll be heard from a mile away. And what of you, brother? Don't mind her. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. If he tags along, we'll be heard from a mile away. And what of you, brother? And what of you, brother? Okay, I think that should cover it. Don't mind. Okay, and then just the usual normalize, compress, Send her out. Don't mind her. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. Don't mind her. Okay. And then we're gonna move on to Jeer. Who is different here. Okay, this guy's gonna be louder. So we're turning the game down to avoid clipping. Everyone's already dead, after all. I'd rather be where there's still people left to save. 
Close the door, sister. Hurry! No. Close the door, sister. Hurry! Hunter training is a little more important than singing in the choir, brother. Everyone's already dead, after all. I'd rather be where there's still people left to save. Close the door, sister. Hurry! Hunter training is a little more important than singing in the choir, brother. All right. Whoops. A little more, a little more. There we go. I'd rather be where there's... Close... Everyone's already... Close the door, sister! Hurry! Sorry if I'd stop talking. I'm getting kind of just in the zone of getting it all set up and done. I think that's just a mouth. Well, I yeah, just a little mouth flap thing. Sometimes it happens. Um. Yeah. One there, too. Everyone's already dead, after all. Just gonna upload. There we go. Uh, how long have we been going? Almost Everyone's an hour? already dead, after all. Okay. I'd rather be where there's still... All right. That's all uploaded, and then the proficient. So I already have my concept for this guy in mind. So let's just read through. Okay. I'm Andrew Ryan. Right, that's how we're going. Listen, kid. You're getting way over your head here. You're getting in way over your head here. Halloran doesn't want us releasing this to the public. If he finds out, we're dead meat. I'm only doing what's best for you. You're a traitor to this nation, Halloran. My brothers will find me, and we'll lock you in with the atrocities. All right, can I leave it at that? Listen, kid. You're getting in way over your head here. And... and uh, uh, a little lip smack there. Listen, kid. You're getting in way over your head here. Halloran doesn't want us releasing this to the public. If he finds out, we're dead meat. I'm only d Finds out, we're oh, There's another little lip smack. Finds out, we're dead meat. I'm only doing what's best for you. You're a traitor to this nation, Halloran. My brothers will find me, and we'll lock you in with the atrocities. Uh, could maybe use a little more energy, but I think for an audition that should be okay. I would not necessarily recommend that mindset. It's just I don't have any ideas for a different voice for him. And I don't have a ton of energy because I'm, get, I'm getting over some sickness just a little bit, so... That's probably the best I can do right now, but I would definitely recommend, uh, yeah, I've, if I had a little more time, a little more energy, I would try and pep it up a little bit. Listen, kid, 
You're getting in way over your head here. Listen, kid. You're getting in way over your head here. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, turn this down. Hey! Do us all a favor and shut up! I don't know, it's silly, man. Don't look at me like that. I see your judgmental gazes. Chris is a... Hey! Do us all a favor and shut up! Oh, actually, I have a third one. Hey! Do us all a favor and shut up! Up. Hey. Shut up. Hey. Do us all a favor and shut up. Hey. And I'm gonna put this one up front. I think that's the the better better take. So it's good to put your best take forward. Yeah. Hey, do us all a favor and shut up! Hey, do us all a favor and shut up! Hey, do us all a favor and shut up! Yeah. Let me crank all these up so they're the same thing. I don't know, it's a... <laughs> it's not a massive character from the looks of it, so I'm just having fun. Hey, do us all a favor and shut up! Okay, and then I'm just gonna do Grandpa Grub, right? Papa Grub. Papa Grub. Don't pop the grub, baby. Pop the grub. Don't pop the grub. Oh. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna finish up these auditions and I'll do some gaming to finish this out. Uh, but I'll take a break to set up between them. Uh, oh yeah, I should play the new Mario Kart tracks on stream. I don't think uh, I've streamed since the first set of DLC tracks came out. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I gotta, I gotta work on that Grand Prix still. All right. Um. Yeah. It's my children. They're all missing. Fun. Crank up the gain. It's my children. Excuse me. It's my children. They're all missing. My poor, curious, defenseless, stupid babies. Where could they be? Thank you. Thank you so much. I was so worried that I would never see my children again. I'm going to die alone. It's my children. They are all missing. My poor, curious, defenseless, stupid babies. Where could they be? Thank you. Thank you so much. I was so worried that I would never see my children again. I'm going to die alone. Pretty sure they want it more like the first one, but, you know. Who cares? I'm having fun. I'll give them the best thing that I can do, regardless of if it's necessarily what they think they want. Maybe they don't even know what they want. Who knows? And...
It's my children. Yeah, I think that's pretty... pretty solid. And this is one where I'll probably come back and listen to what other people are doing because I find it, uh... interesting. And, oh yeah, already submitted the brash background bug, so... Don't need to bookmark it. It's my children. They're all missing. Okay, and then, yeah, we're just going to have to improvise, I guess. Ticking. Yep. So the question is, We got we got this guy here. He's got the goggles, big old hair. He's got the kind of like the the goggles and the jacket make me think he's some kind of steampunk pilot. He's got the red on the face. Now is that? I think that's more of a stylistic choice, but I'm gonna assume it's more like the wind. You know, as you're flying along in the open air and it whips your face and it makes your face all red. So that's my idea. So he's a precocious guy. Yeah, he's a precocious little adventurous guy who just, like, loves to pilot out in the open air. So let's go with something like that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Turn down the game, because I think I'm gonna get a little... Uh, loud with him. Wow! Did you see that? I must have hit five knots back there! Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, the G-force is st st still kind of hitting me. Hey, there is nothing wrong with my equilibrium. Whoa. Hold on. Solid ground is not something I'm used to. Uh... It's only a hundred miles away. Come on, we can get there by tomorrow. Ugh, grounded again? And for real this time, no, no air time at all, huh? I'm gonna take that one again. No, you don't get it. When I say grounded, I mean grounded. I don't get a fly or anything. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we got some good lines in there. Where did it start? Wow, did you see that? All right. Yeah, I liked that line. That line was pretty fun. Let's normalize as I go. Hey, there is nothing wrong with my wrong with my equilibrium. Whoa, hold on. Solid ground is not something I'm used to. It's only a hundred miles. And then this, I'm gonna toss that line because it wasn't fleshed out. Grounded! I don't get a flyer. No, you don't get it. When I say grounded, I mean grounded. I don't get a flyer or anything. Wow! Did you see that? I must have hit five knots back there. All right. Uh, I did not include two different takes on the character this time. So, I'm just gonna say thanks for the opportunity. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, um. Where's... right. Oh. Does this sometimes. Come on.
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't load in all of my files. I don't know what's up with that. Some quirk of Mac, I guess. Wow, did you see that? A little crackly. My mouth's been kind of dry lately. Probably the sickness I was talking about. Um, okay. Now, Victor. Victor seems more chill, right? He's like the the more mature friend. He's a little more he's a little more grounded, but he's he's willing to hang out, you know? He's willing to chill. He's willing to hang. But what he wants. What does Victor want? I'm going to make a choice. Uh, Victor is afraid of heights, but wants to travel. So Litex is always trying to get him up in the plane. Wow, man, that's really nice, but um, I I'm good. I don't need to go up in the plane. No, really, it's it's no problem at all. You don't need to... You don't need to worry about me. I I don't mind. I don't mind not, you know, going up there. Okay, I'm afraid of heights. There, are you happy? You you got it out of me. I don't I Just because I want to see the world doesn't mean I have to see it from all the way up there. I get it, man. I just it's too much. It's just, it's too much for me to handle. And I, no matter how much I want to see everything out there, I don't know if I can make it. There we go. A little more emotional there. A little more of an emotional scene. Wow, man, that's really nice, but, um, I, I'm... I'm good. I don't need to go up in the plane. No, really. It's it's no problem at all. You don't need to you don't need to worry about me. I I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind not not, you know, going up there. Okay, I'm afraid of heights. There, are you happy? There, are you happy? You you got it out of me. I don't... I... Just because I want to see the world doesn't mean I have to see it from all the way up there. I get it, man. I just... It's too much. It's too much. It's just, it's too much for me to handle. And I, no matter how much I want to see everything out there, I don't know if I can make it. Cool. I think that'll definitely do it. Wow, man, that's really nice, but, um, yeah, yeah, sorry, I kind of brought the energy down with that, but it's also, um, I feel really good about that. I think, I think I did a decent job with that character, and I, you know, even if they don't pick me, I think I put my best foot forward. Oh, come on. Give me the... Give me the thing. Yeah. Okay, when it does this, sometimes you gotta go to your... Finder. A bit. bit. Yeah. And you gotta just drag and drop. Nope. Oh, man, that that was the wrong spot. 
Drag and drop up there. There we go. All right. That's all the auditions for today. Not as many. Um, you know, do we got any coming up? Ooh, actually, I should check these ones real quick. Wow, man, that's... Yeah, let's check these. See what their deal is. Since they're uh, coming due tomorrow. And I'll, yep, yeah, make sure that my gain is up. Yep, yep, yep. Straightforward. I can't read that. What is this? Oh, boy. Actually, I'm going to take a quick break. Go use the bathroom. And then I think, uh, yeah, we're going to look over these real quick. And then I'm probably going to get set up to do some games. All right. BRB. Okay, we're back. Uh, yeah. Let's see. There's a lot of info here. Um, hmm. I mean, he's, he's British, right? It's, it says affluent, so you'd, uh, you'd assume something posh with the accent. But uh, he says things like blimey, which sounds a bit lower class, but that could just be the writing. 
right? Um, hmm. Was, I wish they hadn't done this with the highlighting. Okay. Uh Oh, okay. It's, he's he's uh, an African guy. I don't I know it said in the thing there like, "Oh, don't worry about it cuz I don't want to wait to find someone who's actually from chat." It's like that's your problem, man. I'm not interested in playing a role like that. Uh, yeah, let's give this one a shot. Lacrimosa. What's his name? Dimitri Vincent. Lawrence how wait which is it is he Dimitri or is he Lawrence I don't know but he's posh and British so yeah let's let's do that Try thinking of it as failing forward, if it helps. I understand the motive that necessitates the relocation of our hold, but blimey, these long carriage rides will sooner be the death of me than any persecution. And I fell to my knees in defeat, my strength forfeit, my limbs beleaguered, my resolve quaking, but most of all, mine heart aching for failing in my destined quest to claim a unicorn for you, my dearest Jessica. Okay, I don't have any other ideas for his voice, so we're just gonna send that off. Try thinking of it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And hopefully it's working now. Move that bit. Uh, ew, I should have been removing the bit about trying out for other roles on the ones that only had one role. Whoops. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Most of the people who do stuff on here are... uh double dipping so to speak i'm just going to delete that try thinking of it as failing forward if it helps okay submitted that and then let's see oh all right this got closed so never mind jackie boy man i don't even remember oh yeah i was going to try out for this one now, is that actually cast to someone off? Yes. Yeah, they're all cast to someone off site. Well, that's fine. It happens. You know, that's why you got to check pretty regularly. Okay. With all of that done, let's, uh, let's see if any new calls have come in. Nope, nothing. All right. I'm going to switch over to, uh, some Mario Kart. Let's have some fun. So, uh, yeah, give me just a few minutes to set all of this up. All right, BRB.
I had to reset the capture. That's why you saw me for a second. I was trying to do a peace sign, but for some reason I was like, one finger, that's a peace sign. Ignore me! Okay, we're back. Yeah, I have not played uh, Mario Kart on stream for quite a while, but I'm excited for it. Love this game. There we go. We are. Everything's lined up correct. All right. Yeah, I can't remember if I streamed the uh, second set of DLC tracks, so let's see what's up. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, no, this isn't it. No, I haven't. Okay. So it looks like we're actually going to start back on a 50cc and keep a cruising. All right, turnip cup it is. All right, New York Minute. Man, I gotta key into the uh, starting boost. I was playing with my roommate some of the new tracks and like, he's like OG. He was like, uh, he 100%ed Mario Kart Wii and stuff. So he's really good. Uh, and uh, he can hit that boost, like, almost every time. I mean, like, he gets the blue sparks. I get the yellow pretty much every time, so... Not sure. Even when I'm really trying to, like, cut it close, I still only get the yellow. Right, this is fine. Bananas are a decent defensive item. Boop, 
Yeah, all these Mario Kart Tour tracks are a little underwhelming. I don't know, maybe it's just me personally, but like, they all feel very similar. Oops, nope. That didn't do anything. Nice try. You ain't gonna get the one-two punch on those shells. Also, I'm so far ahead it wouldn't have mattered. Yep. You know, maybe someday I should actually watch like a YouTube video of like how to be good at Mario Kart cuz like I know a lot of the vague stuff of just like you know, don't don't drift too soon, don't drift too late. All that stuff, but uh anytime you go off a thing, do a little whoop like that. Uh, but, like, I have no idea how the builds should work. For me, I just go, like, uh, heavy on the speed. Oh, are you kidding me? Dude! What the? Th he got a shortcut. Oh, no, he was in 11th. I had, I had lapped him. Okay, so it's not a problem. Oh, I was so, so going to be upset that I'd have to redo that. Oh, well. Uh, see? Still yellow. I, I cut it what felt like really close. Thought it might even spin out there, but uh, no, still just yellow. It's kind of funny playing like the older, really like flat tracks. Because that's the thing is the original was just like a single texture in mode 7 for the track and they just had the sprites on top. It was really clever, but also it meant that you couldn't have much in the way of elevation. Um, wasn't really until the N64 that they could start working with a little more verticality, a little more texture. Oh, man, this is so slow. <laughs> I never played 50cc aside from, like, trying to go for the new tracks to 100% it. And, like, yeah, it's just so... Mind numbing. Whoop. Yep, yep, yep. Just going on a lazy Tuesday drive. Ooh wee. What you got? Yeah, I'm already lapping again. Ooh. Don't let the bullet bill get me. Luigi. Luigi, you good? Get him, get him. Get him. Oh, while well, I drift, drafted off of him. Come on, get him. <sighs> I wish it would tell you, like, in Splatoon or, like, an FPS or whatever, like, when one of your items got somebody. It'd be nice to know that stuff's actually effective. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's fine, it's fine. I'm, like, way ahead of the next person. Awesome. Next race, let's a go. Yes, this is one of my faves. 
which is any of the N64 or GBA ones. Mostly N64. I played I played a lot of the GBA one. Um just I didn't have like link cables or anything, so I didn't have the same experience, and it's been a long time since I played that GBA one. Uh, I plan on streaming it at some point. Probably after I've 100%ed this, this, uh, this Mario Kart, you know? I want to go through and do all of them at some point. Because, like, we got NES. Uh, the, the SNES one on here. We got the 64 one on here. It won't be um, too hard to do GBA. After that, I don't know. I've tried to stream some uh, GameCube games and it didn't really work out. So I think that's the limit of what I can do. I can stream N64 for sure. That's like it. Also, I like that they they remix this. You have to go on the tracks. And it's got that big old ramp. That wasn't in the N64 one. Oh, come on. Come on. Baby Rosalina's right up on it. I see her creeping. Ah. It like swerved around. What is this? Yeah, it was always a thing that you could get up on the tracks in the N64 one, but it wasn't required. At least I don't think. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I was just playing the N64 one, but I didn't play this track, so I'm not sure. Is the goal. No! Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. All right. Hey, this is supposed to be a favor from the DS one. I never played the DS one. I had a DS, I just never got Mario Kart DS. I never got the 3DS one either. But yeah, I hear everybody saying that this is like a super sick track, and I agree. My only problem? It's real short. I'd love to have a little more time to hang out with it, you know? Man, I got some up in my nose. Ah, it's making me feel like that slight sneeze. You know what I'm saying? Like, not quite a real sneeze, but it's just like a, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna sneeze probably in the next couple minutes. Eh. Don't like it. Whoop. Watch out. It's okay, we're right next to the boost pads. Let's go! Yeah, there we go. As I can tell, you want to get at least gold sparks if you're gonna drift at all. 
Otherwise, the slowdown... Uh, you don't make up for the slowdown of the drift. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, watch out, watch out. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, my shell. You greedy boy. Bam. Turn up for cup. I'd rather not. If you don't mind. All right. Yep, just gonna keep grinding. Propeller cup. Show sure enough. Come on now. Come on now. Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. Ah, nope. See, that was too early. That felt... Like it was too early, but yeah, I don't know where the sweet spot is. That's all I gotta practice, I think. I mean, obviously, all the other stuff can be practiced just way over, but. Coin. This is a pretty short track. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, it like missed me because I got hit by something else. Interesting. This looks a little different. That was something Coco was pointing out, is that, you know, the, the tour tracks don't seem super creative, but they have a, they have a, a, a different sort of direction and course each time. So that's pretty cool. Oof. All right, let's keep moving. Mm 
Let's keep moving. Let's continue on. Wah. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Whoop. Bow. I'm just keeping an eye on the time. Oh, somebody's taking a shortcut. The cheating blight has. You think Mario and Dreddy need to take a shortcut? I don't know. I'm not even fully certain that's a racing guy. Sounds like a racing guy. Are you and Dreddy do racing? Probably Formula One or something. I don't know. Bring this camera down a little. I think. Yeah. I don't need quite so much headspace. No. Oh no. Penguin on the track. Dropping beats. Yeah, I can get the gold pretty much every time. I just can't seem to ever get the blue. I don't know what's up with that. If I held out just a little longer, I probably could have gotten purple on that. Oh well. Wish there was a way to switch your items. Maybe there is and I just don't know it, but it'd be great to get rid of that coin so I could pick up something more useful for when I finish off these bananas. Oh well. Rosalina. Gonna do it. She drafted off of me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Correct. Bam. That's how you do it. How do you do it? You gotta do it well. Yes. 
still didn't get it. And then this is one of the tracks. I believe this is one that's just new. I'm probably wrong, actually. This might be a Wii one. Ah, ding, ding, dip. No. No. I think I'm okay. Oh, here we go. Boing. Boing. A boing. Bo uh, uh oh. Well, at least he took me forward. Get him. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, I feel bad. Why do I gotta hurt these fellas? Unnecessary. One who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Yeah, ha Let's go this way this time. It's a little easier to control. Uh oh, here it comes. Oh. Doesn't feel good. I'll tell you what, does not feel good. Oh, I got the timing wrong there. Now let's go this way. See how it goes. Wah. No. No, Ludwig's coming. I see him. Oh, I want to miss those. Wow, this is wild. Uh, some wild and crazy kids. Okay. Skirt it on the inside. There we go. This is the new one, excuse me. Yeah, the mushroom one I think is from the Wii Mario Kart. And this is the, uh, this is the one that is brand new for this DLC. Still only gold. Go through the ice cream. Yes. Helipad. All right. Let's just zoo, 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 go crazy. Go crazy. That's the thing I didn't get for so long is that uh, when you're in hover mode, hitting stuff is good. It gives you a boost. I can make it. I can make it. Woo! Yeah! Ah, dip. Ah, dip my ice cream. Why don't you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Around and around and around. Whoops. That's all right. Get us some boost. And we're good. Oh. Came off that a little weird. Let's see if we can get something a little better than a green shell. Eh, not really. 
Oh, well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Please, please, please. Oh. I just didn't want to go off the side. Two green shells, huh? I mean, it's good for defense. Somebody threw a banana on the yellow ice cream. Die, you fuck. go get those boosts come on now boosting boosting Yeah, these 50 cc's are a bit of a slog because there's not a ton of challenge to it, so it's kind of just enjoying the track. I saw those cows out of the corner of my eye, but I saw their noses as like a weird cat face. That freaked me out for a second. Nice. All right. Another one in the bag. Oh, these load times. Maybe a little tough. Uh, right, still got a couple to do. The new ones, Rock Cup. Rock Cup, Rock Cup, Rock Cup. Rock it up. Mount. Ah, still no blue. They gotta toss at least one. Uh. Mario Kart uh tour track into each of these cups because there's so many Mario Kart tour stages. Tracks, whatever you call them. Oh, here we go.
Whoop. Okay, okay. Watch out for this big boy. And get one of these. Whoop, nope, nope, nope. Oh man. I messed up. I messed up pretty bad. So right, I got a decent amount of distance between me and the next racer. I think. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, Rosalina's hanging back pretty far. to the boom box until no! okay we're good oh man I'm getting kind of hungry I had a late breakfast but it wasn't a huge breakfast so Yeah, probably not gonna stream for too much longer. Wanna at least finish off the 50cc on all these tracks. Ooh. Don't think this was part of the original GBA course. Whoa. Thanks. Oh, jeez. Don't go off the edge. Oh, joy. Here it comes. Ooh. Oh, and baby Luigi's coming in hot. Now ah, we're good. Wah. Right. Yeah, 50 CC is pretty dang easy. Rock, rock, mountain. Whoa, pretty vertical. Ah. 
see what I mean? It's like, it's really such a tiny, thin line between uh, stalling out and getting those blue sparks. So I can get, if I'm not trying to go much better, I can always get the gold. But I'm trying really hard to get the blue. I pretty much always miss it on either side. Left it up. Come on now, come on now. Just gotta finish this out. Bad time for this. the Wigglers. Those are good little guys. Oh, blew it out. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Can't seem to get it. I'm sure there's someone who's made a video specific, specifically explaining the exact timing. mushroom. Don't mind if I do. Where's your bam? Jaboo. Zibbity bop. Uh oh. Come on now. That's a dirty pool. You know this. Uh, over the 
weekend I watched that new that new Christmas movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell was a spirited. There's some cool ideas. It's like the Dear Evan Hansen team, and I'm like not super impressed with them in general. They're just very poppy in a way that I'm not super big on. There were a couple songs that I liked, but uh, and the plot overall was fine. You know, all the performances were good. I didn't like the the vocal processing. They made Ryan Reynolds sound very digital and robotic because they just way overprocessed his voice. It's like just let him let him have a little roughness. You know, people aren't gonna mind if the take isn't perfect. But yeah, it was it was fun enough. You know, it was a very different take on a Christmas carol, so that was cool. It uh it had a song unredeemable that was like so so close to uh defying gravity that I'm like, y'all you better get your loyal lawyers ready, cause that, yeah, it it's, oh boy, and it was like in the exact same position in the show, so it's like, hmm, y'all are, y'all are playing with fire. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, fellas, trying to get to the goal here. Oh, let's let's go up. Whoa! Yeah. That felt fun. What other point is there, really? Man, yeah, these tracks feel so long in 50cc. Now we can move on to the last cup. Then I can go eat lunch. There we are. Oh. Skeleton fish jump scare, geez. Oops, nope, that's the one I just did. Moon cup is what we need. All right, Berlin. Mr. Bowser, tear down this thwomp. Yeah, baby Rosalina. It's not so easy, is it? Is that German? That was kind of German. The German accent is a very hard one for me to do. I don't know why. It's just it does it doesn't click with the way that I speak. So I can't do it very consistently most times. The Austrian I can do a bit a bit. He spits better, but uh, no. If I were to do a more like accurate German, uh, yeah, the more accurate German accent is actually it sounds almost closer to an American Midwest accent. I I base it more on uh, Christoph Waltz, who's been in a lot of Tarantino pictures, and a few other things. You know, I I adore his work. Um, but yeah, I go from him. He has a German accent, but it's not like in your face the whole time. Which is pretty nice. 
by my understanding is what like if you went to Germany most people if they're speaking English it doesn't sound that different from a from a Midwest American English that's pretty neat Just a little little factoid for you a little hearsay if and you don't mind Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get these coins. My banana. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yum. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, 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 we went over. Okay. This is only my second time playing this track, so I didn't realize you could do that on those. In fact, I feel like if you're going at speed, you might even be able to do a little wah -wah, you know? Come on, come on. Come on. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, I couldn't lap boo. Oh well. Next up. Do you think gorillas are hunched over like that because that's what feels good or just because they have bad posture? I was just looking at Donkey Kong and I'm like, man, this guy's got like a hunchback. Posture is terrible. But is that, is that just what gorillas like to do? I don't know. It's also that he's in a cart that's much too short for him. He's a big boy. Oh. It's always hard to tell if you're not familiar with the track if it's going to be a drop or just a little. It's a little boop. Nope. Speaking of. Yep, didn't give above 73 this time in this room, so that's that's good. Good to know. Gotta can't really stream in the middle of the day unless the AC is on or it's uh not too hot. So I'll remember that for the summer. Summer, I say. By the time it hits spring, it's gonna be cranking up in the heat. Yeah, I'm hoping it stays cold consistently from here on out, but it's hard to tell. We had like a week there where we thought it would be consistent and it uh, did not stick around. as much commentary. I'm uh, thinking about uh, some homework I gotta do for a uh, the coaching I've been getting. I 
pretty much... Yeah, I think I'm pretty much set with it. I'm gonna double check it before I submit it after the stream, but... I think I've gone as far as I can with it. I'm just... Just nervous, you know? I want to make sure... I want to make sure I have, I mean, it's not going to get, like, graded necessarily, because it's not quite that type of assignment, but I just want to make sure that I'm not, uh, slacking. I want to make sure I put in a good, honest amount of work. Bam. <clears throat> All right. And here we go, another fresh one. For the holidays, Merry Mountain. Oh, jeez, is Santa Claus going to meet me? Am I going to meet Tom Hanks' Santa Claus from the Polar Express? I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of pressure. Still can't get it. Oh, well. Oh no. Okay. Whew, skipped right by me. And there's quite the art to making music that sounds Christmassy without being, like, literally Christmas. The usual thing is gonna be sleigh bells, right? But that's so cliche that it's like. Come on, we can do a little better than that. Oh, there goes that train. Slash slay. Wow. There we are. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. I'm still, yeah, I've only played any of these tracks once, so I'm a little rough on them. I think it's working out okay. Nope. Yeah. That's something I'd like to see in a Mario Kart is uh, if you can hit your drift right as the shell's about to hit, you could slip underneath. Because in uh, Double Dash, the one for Game Boy Advance, or no, Super Circuit, Double Dash is the GameCube, Mario Kart Super Circuit for the GBA, which was the third Mario Kart game, uh, if you drive perfectly, you don't hit any snags, you don't fall off, you hit, you get every like turn just right. Uh, nothing can hit you. Even the blue shell will hang out right behind you. And as soon as you mess up, you're done. It's gonna get you. But if you can do it perfect, you can avoid that blue shell for the entire race. So yeah, just stuff like that, you know? Give you a little more agency. Don't just make it a, well, you gotta have the boom box or you're done. Come on. Whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, back up to speed. Mm, yep, and yeah. We're gonna do a front flip, ba-boom. Oh, he's dropping coins, that's nice. That's very nice. All right. One more and then I'm gonna go have some lunch. Yep, yep, yep.
Yeah, I'm gonna start doing these streams earlier in the day. Just, I slept in, because, again, a little sick. Not super sick, but a little sick. So, it's definitely sapping my energy. And making my voice less, uh, less reliable. That's fine, that's fine. I can survive. Wah! No! Uh, for lunch, I'll be having some impossible nuggets. I think. Because, uh, yeah. Got a, got a bag of them from the grocery store. I'm gonna try them out. I've been going meatless. Because the meat uh, gives me heartburn. So, yeah, I'm hoping these impossible nuggets are delicious. Whoa. But we'll find out. Jeez. Oh! Okay, I thought I was done for. Didn't know you could go on the moon. I, actually, I did know you could go on the moon. I'd forgotten. But yeah, that happened to me. Um, -ah! When I was playing this with the family. Zip. Zap. Zaru. How about you? Meow. Whoa. Oh, come on. Uh oh. That's a bad time. Nope. Yeah. We're all right. They're creeping up, but I think I'll be okay. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. And. There we go. All right, got all the 50 cc's. I gotta eat some lunch. So thanks very much for watching. Please consider following and subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Check out all my socials down below. There's a list on the browser version and you can also see a couple of them on screen, the Twitter and the YouTube. Um, I gotta update the YouTube one a little bit. And also I believe I gotta sign in to the chat on OBS so that I can, uh raid over to people easier, but let's see who's live. Who to raid over to. To, excuse me. Evil Farter. I'm not raided over to him in quite a while, so let's, let's do it. Let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully see y'all tomorrow morning for another stream of this type. But yeah, that's it. So, goodbye, everybody. A goodbye. A goodbye.